what's up racers racer beast here and welcome back to an another csl2 video now i am here with the posh 911 turbo s992 uh, and in this video i'm going to show you a good live racing setup for this car now in my opinion this is one of the best Porsches out there for live racing and for a good reason this is a super low performance point high evo car and i have tested this in a few lobbies it has done really well for me in live racing okay so without further ado uh, let's get into the live racing setup for this one let's have a look at the uh, upgrades now i have engine at stock turbo at stock intake at stage 3 nitrous at stage 5 body at stage 5 tires at stage 4 and transmission and stage 4 as well okay so this gives me a performance point of 657 and evo point of 1967 so this is a good low pp high evo setup now keep in mind Having a low PP high EVO setup gives you a significant advantage in lobby matchmaking. Quite often you will get placed into lobbies where your opponents are running much slower than you. And as long as you control your runs, as long as you don't go all out, you won't get bumped up that easily. Okay, and we'll still get those wins. So with that being said, uh, let's have a look at the tuning for this setup. Now keep in mind, uh, UL tuning might be slightly different than mine uh, depending upon what fusions you have. So uh, you will need to adjust your tuning accordingly. Okay, this is just to give you a baseline. So for me nitrous all the way to the right, final drive at 4.07 and tire pressure at 8 psi. So this gives me a dyno of 10.308. Now even if I am dynoing somewhere around a 10.3, uh, keep in mind I have a low performance point high EVO setup. So I have a significant lobby advantage. Okay. Uh, in fact in a lot of live races that I had with this car, I was getting paired with opponents who were running a 10.5 or even a 10.6 and we're probably dynoing even slower than that so uh, i on the other hand i was capable of running much faster than them and unlike them i really uh, didn't have to go all out to get those wins in fact i was trying to control my runs and trying to go as slow as i can and even after all of that i was uh, still able to uh, secure those wins easily and not get bumped up at all okay so uh this is the live racing setup guys now uh, before we get into actual live races uh let's do a test run and i will also show you the shift pattern for this car at this setup okay here we go So let's see what we ran there. We ran a 10.327 with a dyno of 10.308. So we are coming close to dyno but aren't beating it. Anyways, we don't need to beat dyno. We have a low performance point high EVO setup. Um, and that gives you a lobby advantage. So you don't need to go all out. You don't need to beat dyno. All you have to do is to try and control your runs. Try to go as slow as you can um, so that you still get those wins and won't get uh, bumped up that easily, okay? So, hope you found this live racing setup useful, guys. Now, I'm going to show you a few live races with this car. Um, but I'm going to stop my commentary. Enjoy the live races, guys. This is Reesabee signing off. See you in another video. Bye. So I